Bonjour and welcome to the Tarot of Claude. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tarot deck review. Um, this is the Claude Tarot. I've owned it for quite a while and I'm familiar with it. I really like it. So I thought I'd share this with you. Um, I've checked online on Amazon. It's available for $15 at the moment, which I believe is a steal really. Um, I bought it for $20, I think. So $15 for this. This is really um, an incredible um, price. So the Crow Tarot was created by May M.J. Cullinane. I hope I didn't destroy her name, but M.J. Cullinane. It is published by US Games, and this is how the sides of the box look like. And you can see you've got the slots, so it opens easily. It's a hard box. And the art is stunning on these cards. So that's the front. And... The back. So when you open the box you get the little white book. Now it is um, slightly thicker than what you would get um, in some when it's just you know with two little staples and it's really thin and the color is in the cover is in color. Um, inside is black and white and it explains all of the meanings of all the cards and there's a special spread to do with this tarot deck if you're interested right at the back of it which is called the Crow Tarot Spread. And obviously the um, card meanings are explained. And then there's a little bit about the author um, and artist. So that's really nice. And then you have the cards. Now, this is the back, which I think is really nice. These cards are slightly bigger than a standard tarot deck. I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to put a um, standard tarot deck next to it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So this is a standard tarot deck. So you can see that they are wider and slightly taller. I would say about half a centimeter on each side because if you put the other deck on top, right in this corner, I think you may see it even better. Yes, you can see about half a centimeter here and half a centimeter there. So. I have average size hands and normal tarot decks are fine for me to shuffle. This one, I will not lie, is slightly more challenging, but it's feasible. It's nothing, um, you know, huge like the El Goliath Tarot first edition, which I'll do a review on um, soon. And the cards are absolutely massive. But if you look at my hands and where they fit, they're slightly, you know, bigger. However, I understand why they've done it, because the art is beautiful and you do get to see more details when the cards are bigger. Um, card quality, card stock, is very good. You know, if you raffle shuffle, you'll be fine with that. I don't personally, but, um, you know, very good card stock. And it is a semi-matte finish, so not glossy, not matte, it's semi-matte. And this is how um, the, the art looks like. It's a little bit... Uh, Picasso-esque if um, you're into your paintings. Now I'm going to go through the um, major arcana with you and then I'll just give you a flavor of um, each suit because otherwise I just find it boring when people go through 78 cards. Um, so you have the Fool, the Magician, it is a Rider Waite inspired deck, I don't think I said it at the beginning, the High Priestess and it's beautiful the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hangman, Death. I particularly like this card. I don't know why, it really speaks to me. Temperance. The Devil is another one I like. I think it's stunning looking. Obviously it's just my opinion, you know, it's a question of taste. The Tower. The Star. The Moon. The Sun. Judgment and the world, which is one of my favorites too. So that's the major arcana. 
And then I'm going to give you a flavor of each suit. So I'm going to start with the pentacles. And they look like this. Then I'm going to show you the ace of the um, not the ace necessarily, but swords. You can clearly see it's Rider Waits inspired. And the cups. And finally, the ones. So I really like this deck because firstly I do find it easy to use and what I mean by that is I think that the symbolism, the art on the cards, it really speaks to me um, and as I said it's based on Rider Waits which obviously means it's got pictures on the pips not like a Tarot de Marseille who just has the uh, suits and the number. Um, so I find it beginner friendly. Um, and as I said, it's good quality. I just cannot believe that this deck is available right now for $15 on Amazon. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, there you go. That was my review of this deck. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on this deck. If you have purchased it or if you were thinking about it and you're on the fence, let me know in the comment box below. I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this deck. I personally really love it and I work a lot with it. So thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me on my channel. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again very soon. I do tarot readings, daily tarot readings and monthlies. Um, I'll give you a um, link left or right here if you want to check them out. So thank you so much. Have a great day and until next time, au revoir.